Hi, it's Vinny here. Right, today the uh, video will talk about how we can use any remote access tools such as AnyDesk or Google Chrome Remote Access all right, to remotely access okay, into let's say a virtual private server, VPS, or into a desktop that you have housed elsewhere. Okay, so the idea is that, for example, you like to send yourself some Tor dashboard alerts, all right, to let you know that the trade is coming soon, all right, or you like to look at MetaTrader set of uh, Tor's indicators. Okay, so you're going to host up all this uh, MetaTrader platform onto your virtual private server or onto, let's say, a desktop or mini PC, and you left it unattended. That means you don't um, connect to any... Um, uh, monitor or any any other things all right but basically is there as a box and it is acting as a server and you like to access the server remotely okay so this is what i'm using for my own setup so for example i have a mini pc all right and i use um, any desk as a tool to connect to my mini pc which is acting as a server all right, so this is a server. That's my mini PC. It's a low end. It's not a high end. Um, it's probably cost me about one hundred and twenty, maybe one hundred and thirty dollars Sing dollar. All right, so it's not big in size. So the length is about fifteen, as you can see from the ruler, and then the um, width I think is about thirteen. Okay, so that's about thirteen, fifteen times thirteen box. So this is really like Android box, and I just put it beside my Mac. Um, I only connect that to um, this adapter here that connects my monitor and then to a, a power supply and that's all. Okay, and I connect that uh, via a Bluetooth keyboard if I need to. Otherwise, I just put it as a box there. I don't really uh, touch it. So my aim is to remotely access this um, so-called mini PC as a server every time for my Mac. All right, right now I have installed uh, MetaTrader into my uh, mini PC. But by, by before doing that, right, I need to connect the mini PC to my monitor because I need to set it up the first time, okay? So what do I do? All right, I have connected my monitor. I have connected a Bluetooth uh, keyboard and as well as the mouse. So I'm just setting up as if that is a full computer, right? But I'm just setting up for the first time only. And after that, I will just disconnect all these devices from it, okay? Because my objective is to access it remotely from my Mac, okay? So you can... Um, access it remotely from your tablet or for your mobile phone as long as you have um, a program that allows all these devices to interlink and to call one another. Okay, so uh, right now after installing MetaTrader, I'm just going to install AnyDesk, which is a remote access um, application, which uh, must stay in the mini PC and must be into my devices. So for example, if I'm using my Mac to connect, then I must also install AnyDesk onto my Mac. So if I want to use my tablet, then I must, I must also install all right, AnyDesk into my tablet. All right, so let's start installing right now. All right, so this is uh, AnyDesk website. Okay, so um, once you go there, you can go under the download now and then to download your, um, you know, any desk onto uh, this mini PC. So I'm just going to do that. All right, so mine is a Windows for this mini PC. So I have to choose the Windows version. All right, and then uh, just to highlight a little bit, you might just browse through any desk, all right. Uh, especially you are using any desk for personal so this is uh, free for personal just remember that it's only uh, free for personal use okay so like why I say any desk is free for private use but if it's a professional user you need to get a license right so you can just click download now all right, I have any desk downloaded to my um, desktop already so I'm just gonna click on it to do the installation all right, so you want to run through the installation here. All right, here we go. So once you have the installation, then, um, you know, you automatically will have your desk name here. All right, so this is the desk. Okay, and then uh, you can, in, you just read through the instruction, you will be able to install any desk on, on this uh, device. So you have to remember or copy down this, uh, your desk name, okay, which is this desk here, all right? So uh, what you want to do is you want to set up a password for unattended access. Okay, so this will enable you to access your desk no matter where you are. So right now, click on this. Okay, so this is the place where you can set up for unattended access. 
all right and then um, you know you can enable the unattended access here so click on that and then you need to set in your password key in the password that only you will know all right and then once you key in the password then you just press apply all right you realize that a few things um it's in place right now all right at the bottom right you're going to see the any there's um icon here all right and then once you try to exit you realize that they will say hey look thank you for testing any desk and then uh, we hope that you are satisfied and will be delighted if you continue to use it would you like to install any desk okay you should just click yes to install it here and then follow the instruction uh, what you want to do is that you want to make sure uh, you know, it's up to you whether you want to install the AnyDesk printer or not, okay? But then definitely you want to have all these menu shortcuts and desktop. I just have to leave it, all right, as it is, and then just accept and install. All right, so once you have installed, you're going to come up to this screen here where you can do a few things. You can just look through what AnyDesk has to offer. And then again, you want to uh, set a password now to access your device at any one point of time. All right, so remember this password is consistent with yours, all right? And of course, uh, just remember that AnyDesk is free for private use. Okay, I'm just going to get started. So here I have here, so this is my uh, AnyDesk, okay? And of course, uh, I, I need to remember uh, my desk uh, name. Okay. And remember, if you like to set up for your unattended access, okay, so remember you can just enable uh, this unattended access and then just key in your password, right? All right, right now I'm at my Mac right now, all right, so I need to install any desk onto my Mac, okay? So if you have the tablet or mobile phone, all right, any desk also have an app there. So just go to your uh, Play Store or um, Apple Store, right? Then you can go and find any desk uh, app or there, all right? Uh, and you can and use it to remotely access your mini PC, which is your server right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna click download. So once uh, same thing, you're gonna come to this very familiar uh, window here. So once you click download, it automatically will detect that this is a Mac, all right? So they will just download the Mac version. Okay, so once you have downloaded the Mac version, you can just click, um, you know, download and install. All right, on my Mac, I have already unzipped any desk and then install. So I need to transfer this one inside my application folder. All right, so that's it. So I have uh, completed my uh, any desk uh, installation. It says that they found an older item named any desk as this, right? So it asked me whether I want to replace it because I already have an existing version, right? So I'm just going to replace the version. Alright, so with this, I have uh, finished uh, installing uh, AnyDesk and I should just be able to find it on my Mac desktop. So once I click on AnyDesk, they said that, hey, look, uh, this is uh, an app downloaded from the internet. Uh, am I sure that I want to open it? So I'm just going to click open. And then, uh, you know, they want me to enter password. Right now I have AnyDesk set up. Uh, remember, please don't um, let people see your desk. Uh, number okay because then people can just assess it okay likewise um, that's my uh, mini PC number I also have to blank that out so you can't see the number here now to assess the remote desk you just have to key in uh, just now the number that you install in your mini PC so just install the desk uh, ID here okay and then you click connect now um, please follow the configuration for example I need to configure my um, accessibility and screen recording permission. I just have to configure accordingly. And with this, you can use it to access um, your mini PC. Okay, so I'm just going to access my mini PC right now. So here is my, um, you know, desk, which is the remote access into my mini PC. All right, you can see many layers of screen, isn't it? Okay, so this one is my mini PC. So it's like I'm, I'm having two um operating system right now or rather you know I'm, I'm assessing remotely what's happened in my mini pc all right so how do i know that this is not a mac okay because you can see that this is another window here all right then i can just uh minimize it okay and then i'll minimize it okay you realize that that's a window setting all right so that's my mini pc um, I just maximized it. Okay, I can see that you know those uh, things that I have put inside here. I can assess it. Okay, uh, and I don't need to close it. Okay, let's say for example I don't want to assess my 
uh, any desk anymore. All right. Uh, that means I don't need to access my um, mini PC. So I just have to close it and that's it. All right. So uh, that's how easy it is to uh, access your mini PC or your server, whether it's a VPS or a server using, let's say, a desktop or mini PC. You can just use uh, all these remote access tools to access it. All right. So now, uh, if you don't need right to let's say uh you know plug into any monitor you can just unplug it or just don't switch on your monitor just keep your mini pc running and that will do